Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be building a full past, present and future Tottenham Hotspur squad. Now there are going to be a few stipulations to this. We are going to be playing in champs playoffs and if I can't get rank one, in champs playoffs with this team i have to discard a certain amount of players that are in the team so as you can see the bench is already filled out here we've got a few big players in here obviously long late is heavily linked to tottenham at the moment i'm pretty sure they will get that deal done i was going to get jed spence as well his team of the season but i can't justify that price for that card we did have him in the team originally but i forgot a few players that are from the past of tottenham but this is the bench we're using. Christian Eriksen, of course, obviously off to Manchester United, I'm pretty sure. Definitely played for Tottenham for a while as well. Jermaine Defoe, absolute icon of the club. Mano Weke, who came through the academy, was obviously now at PSV. A very, very good card, actually. But with that being said, let's get into the main team. So first of all, in net, we have the captain, of course, and it's going to be Hugo Lloris. Now, I really like this card. He's got good speed. His kicking is a bit dodgy. But outside of that, this is a really good card. and one of the best keepers I've used currently on FIFA 22. He has got a one-star weak foot, which is a little bit dodgy, but it still is okay from experience when I used his red. So that is the first player in the team. Our right centre-back is going to be Christian Romero. Now, obviously, a brilliant, brilliant player for Tottenham and a really good signing, I have to say. Still one of the best centre-backs on the game, in my personal opinion. That high agility and high balance. Really like this card. Our left centre-back is going to be none other than Jan Vertonghen. Now, this is an interesting card. We are playing him on six chemistry. But he's still pretty decent. You know, his agility and balance is a bit low. He's got good pace, good passing, and a really good defensively solid card. Our middle centre-back is going to be Judas himself. I'm not going to talk about him for too long. It is Sol Campbell. Moving into midfield. Now, I'm sure you guys are going to see a pattern forming here. I'm pretty sure you could probably build the team yourself from here onwards. But our right mid is going to be Kulisevsky. Now, I love this guy in real life. Absolutely brilliant signing for Tottenham. One of the best SPCs I think EA have released this year as well. Six foot one, four star, four star, left footed. But he's got that big physical presence. And he's basically similar to like a Ronaldo or Bale, but without the five star skills. Now, I do think this guy has a lot of value in a lot of teams. He's got decent defensive stats. If you guys remember last year, his future stars card, absolutely brilliant. Used him in sentiment in the 4 1 2 1 2. Now, even in my pro team, I loved him. Now, moving on to the left mid, we actually have a center mid playing here because it's the best for chemistry. We have none other than Harry Kane. Now, this guy has given me so many great memories, um, in the Euros more specifically. Absolutely insane on this game as well, must I add. Really, really like him. One of my favourite strikers on the game. I know his goal return isn't too good for me, but I do think he's a brilliant card. And if you missed out on this SPC, you made a mistake. This card is unreal in game. Five-star weak foot. He turns really quickly for a big man as well, being six foot two. He's able to turn quite quickly, like almost, almost on a sixpence. Really, really nice card to have. Then our two midfielders are going to be Richarlison and Deli Alley. Now, obviously, Richarlison has just signed for Tottenham. Brilliant signing, by the way, I have to say. This is obviously the flashback to his team of the season, I believe. Last year, five-star weak foot, four-star skills, 5'11", high medium. His attributes are absolutely insane. Can play basically anyway. He's got okay stand tackle, okay defensive awareness for the kind of card he is. Good strength and aggression, really good in the air. Decent passing. Long shots are the only thing that lacks on this card a little bit. But I do find this card to be brilliant. Now, also with Deli Ali, you guys know this was a brilliant SPC that came out. We've done a review on him. Really, really like him as well. Tottenham do have a lot of very good players for a past and present, which is quite surprising as I wasn't expecting it to be this powerful and this strong. That is the midfield setup. Let's get on to the attack. So as we move on to the attack, now the left winger is going to be Red Son. Now, I know I could have got his shapeshifter. It just doesn't work for chemistry. Do like this card a lot as well. Played a lot of games for me. Really, really good card to pick up. Obviously, the five-star weak foot and won the golden boot this year. Brilliant card. How he didn't get into the actual Premier League team of the season, it's an absolute joke to me. Um, been performing at a high level for so long now. Absolutely brilliant. You know, he's old now as well. He's at 30, so he's not that young anymore. Obviously, the right winger has to be the one, the only, Gareth Bale. Probably, in my personal opinion, the best card currently on FIFA 22. He's basically Ronaldo. Left-footed with better stats. You know, the 99 strength, incredible upgrade to his agility and balance. 97 finishing, great long shots, great curve, great passing. Can literally play this card anywhere. Really excited to use him in this team here. 
You know, he fits into the team perfectly and can literally play anywhere. Then our striker is actually going to be a loan card, so don't kill me. It's going to be Luka Modric. Luka Modric is obviously one of the best players in the world as well. Ballon d'Or winner, rightly so in my opinion. That pass he done in the Champions League to assist Rodrigo against Chelsea, probably the best pass I've ever seen. Brilliant, brilliant player. His career has gone on for so long. I don't know how he's still performing at the top level the way he does. You know, he's not really built to last that long. He's only five foot eight and he's quite skinny. How he continues to play at the top level the way he does is absolutely mind blowing. But guys, that is the team. Let's go and see how many players we're gonna have to discard if we don't go ten and over this team. All right, then, my friends, we have made it over to the computer. We've got the number of players that we'll be discarding. On the wheel here, you can see we've got 11, we've got 9, we've got 8, we've got 10. We've got 6, we've got 3, 7, and 5. So, I hope we don't get 11, I hope we don't get 10, I hope we don't get 9. There's obviously always that potential that we do get 9 or, you know, 10 or 11. Fingers crossed we don't. Let's spin the wheel and find out. This is very important. You know, I'm hoping I'll be able to go 10 and 0, but I haven't played the game in a fair amount of time. I've been on holiday for two weeks, so I'm a little bit rusty still. Anyway, let's get into spinning. Let's see what happens. Please, please, please don't be a high number. Is that not? Oh, it's going to be 11. Oh, it's 11. Oh, no. Okay, so if we don't go 10 no, I've got to discard the entire team. Which means we lose Bale. Which means we lose Son, Richarlison, Ali. Oh, so many big players in this team. I really need to go 10 no now, guys. I can't imagine discarding some of these players. One last thing I forgot to mention, guys, is the formation we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing the 3-5-2. Set up like that. The team is going to set up like that in game. So... Deli Alley is going to be our defensive option in the CDM role. Modric is going to be allowed to go forward. With Charleston, Kulisevsky on the wide flanks. Son as the camp, Bale and Harry Kane up front. Defence setting up as you'd expect it to. I'm excited, but I'm quite nervous to get into these games. I don't want to discard any of these players. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright guys, into the first game we go. Now I've just seen how much this team is worth if I was to discard it all. It's going to cost me 3 million coins. This guy's got a pretty bang average team. Casemiro playing at centre-back, even though he's a CDM. Aurier, he's got Alaba. He's got Hector the Protector, the Gold Protector. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. Gareth. Gareth! 1-0. Very nice finish there. Now, I know I told you guys at the start that I'm dealing with more than one stipulation than I am. Uh, I've got a really bad back at the moment, and I lean in so far to my monitor um, just because it helps me more. And that is the problem I'm having, right? Um, I've got a really bad back, so I'm leaning in, and it's hurting me even more. And it's not, not any good. Son! Oh, good save. Right, anyway... I think this guy's going to leave if he does. I'll bring you. You're going to leave? Are oh, you going to leave, pal? I think you are going to leave. Please leave. Yes, he has. All right, let's get into the next game. One and oh. All right, guys. Game number two. Now, I just played somebody or gone into a game of somebody that left straight away, which means I've got one less loan game on Modric, which is a bit awkward. Don't know how I'm going to solve that just yet. This guy's got a good team. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. Kulisevsky has a penalty. Now, this guy wants a free win, guys. And obviously, I'm not going to give it to him because I need to go 10 and 0. Um, hopefully he understands. He might leave before I can take the penalty. Hugo Lloris is on it. We're obviously not giving it to him. I'm going to give it to Luka Modric. The go. Let's get it bottom left. Oh, I've almost stunk it up. I have stunk it up. Okay. Just before I take you away. Modric. Off the bar. Unlucky. Go on then. I see that. Nice. Good pass too. Bale's there. That's going to be 1-0. 100%. 1-0. nice play. Absolutely dominating this guy. 1-0. Bale. Gareth. Oh, you're actually too good, mate. You're actually too good. Kane. What a finish that is. 2-0. This guy's going to leave. Let's get into another game. All right, guys. This guy's just got one back. I was editing the video. He's actually just messaged me. Look, I'll show you real quick. He's desperate for a free win. If it will load quick enough. Any chance you give us a free win? Last game for qualifiers. Obviously, I can't. He's getting all upset about it. But, yeah, let's get back into the game and see how we get on. Go on, Bale. Go on, Gareth. Go on, Gareth. Oh, what a finish that is. 3-1. Paused it again. Kane's in again. We're going to play it into Bale. Gareth Bale. 4-1. Now, surely this guy's going to leave now. Probably going to get another message. Let's find out. He has left. There we go. Very nice. All right, guys. Next game. This guy's got a very strange team. He's got a few cool players in there. He's got Fakir. He's got Aspaz. He's got the shapeshifters. Hazard. Ansu Fati. Man of the match. Pedri. I didn't even know that existed, that card. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. He's trying to leave. Son find. Kulisevsky. He's in acres. We're going to look into Bale here. Gareth. Oh, no. Hold on. Kane, please finish it. Oh, it's red time, but it's still gone in. Hopefully, this guy's going to leave here. If he does, I'll bring you back. There you go, guys. He's left. Very, very nice indeed. Let's get into another game. Can you please ready up, mate? Hey, there we go. Right, into the next game we go. 
Oh, this guy's got a really nice team. He's got that. Objectives Pepe. He's got Red Cancelo, Laporte, Chiellini. He's got De Gea in goal. Quadrado, Kessier, Eusebio, Ronaldo, Felipe Anderson, and Herbing Lozano. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. This is for 4-0. Oh, I need the five-star skills. Why don't I have the shapeshifter one? Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. What a finish from Son that is. 1-0 already. They are making a run. Look at that run from Bale. It's a beautiful pass from Kane too. Bale with an awful touch, but it doesn't matter. 2-0. Very nice. This guy's a good player, by the way. Good play, guys. Oh, Kane's in. I'm getting ready to dink this. Early doors. What a save from De Gea. Oh, my God. It's almost gone in. Any oh, my God. It's gone in anyway. Beautiful stuff. 3-0. Bale. Oh, shot cancel. Oh, Bale. Stop it. Stop it, Bale. Oh, pen. Oh, my God. That's brilliant play from Bale. He's got to take this penalty. This might be uh, leave number four if we score this. Give it to Gareth. He deserves it. Put it top bins as well. I don't care if you see him where I'm looking. I have that. Oh, my God. Oh, this controller is stinking me up. There we go. 4-0. Gareth Bale with another goal. Absolutely brilliant. Is this guy going to leave as well? Please leave. Be nice. Lovely stuff. 4-0. and Let's get into the fifth game. All right, guys. Game number five. This is the team we're up against. I'm getting a bit worried now. I've got a feeling that it's going to be stepped up a level now. The players are going to get a fair amount better. Even though the last guy I played was pretty decent, I've got a feeling that now it's going to step up a notch. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. No, 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 no. Well in. Good chance to break ourselves here. Good pass from Kane. Bale's in. Come on, Gareth. Do it for us, pal. Oh, yes. 1-0. Now, this is a lot of a tighter game, guys. I think this guy might leave, though. It's been a pretty open game. Pretty counter-attacking. Is he going to leave? Yes, he is. Lovely stuff. 5-0. Oh. That was a sweaty game, that one. All right, guys. Game number six. Now, I just had somebody leave on me about 30 minutes into the game. I was absolutely battering him. So, we've got two less games on Modric now. So, I don't know what I'm going to do regarding that, but I will update you regarding what we do there. This guy's got a pretty bog standard team, the Liga team. He's got the best CDM ever in there, though, in Busquets. Let's get into the game and see how we do. So he's given a free win. Tottenham need all the help they can get. It's a free win. Very nice indeed. Six and a hoe. So, game number seven. Now, we're going to be coming up against some good players here. Now, this guy's got a really, really nice team. Apart from Jose Guy, I assume he's going to sub him out. He's got Son on five chemistry, I think. Lucas Paqueta, he's got that Atal card. Low chemistry on it, mind. Let's see how we get on in this one. I've got a feeling this guy's going to be a decent player, though. I don't know if that Atal has five-star skills. I'd imagine he does. Oh, no, we're going to be one nil down. For the first time, guys, we're one nil down. Modric scores. Really good player, this dude. Let's hope we can get back into it. Nice from Ali again. Ali's in this time. Deli Ali, he's moved the keeper. It doesn't matter, though. one all. Very good finish there. Good green time shot, that one. Goes again. We're going to look for that over the top again. Kane. Harry. Harry! 2-1. What a ball from Son that is. This guy's a really sweaty player, guys. All right, guys. We're at half time. It's 2-1 to me. This guy's a really good player. I think we're going to bring on Ericsson at half time and maybe Jermaine Defoe. Let's get into the second half. Into a Charleston. Charleston drives down there. We're going to look for that ball in early. Bale. Oof. Defoe. 3-1. Very nice. Game over, probably. Is this guy going to leave? That'd be nice if you did. Very, very nice. 7-0. All right, guys. Game number eight. Modric's last game. And this team is insane. Uh, I think this is going to be the hardest test yet. Vinicius Jr., Neymar, Messi, R9, Fonsi. Let's get into this one and see how we get on. Nice. Modric. Luka. Little one. Bale. Oh, good defending. Kane. Kane. Good ball from Bale. Kane's in. Use that strength, Kane. Kane! Oh, Neto saved it. I can't believe it. This is one sweaty, sweaty game. Out. I'm going to go for it. Bale. Oh, how's Bale missed that? What on earth is Campbell doing? Oh, my God. What a save. Please defend it. Oh, my God. I've got so lucky there. I can't even lie. Pressure's not over yet, though. But with R9 there. What a save. And it's going to be 1-0. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> going to be 3-0. Oh, this is so unfair. Oh, my God. Oh, my word, this game. Oh, I can't believe it. Come on, Kane. We need one back right now. Come on, Kane. <laughs> oh, it's gone in. I can't believe it. There's a little chance that we can get back into this. Oh, my God, please. 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 Oh, my God. It's hit the bar. I haven't even put that much power on that. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. We need one more goal. Come on, please. I can't believe we've lost that game that way, guys. He just time wasted for the last 20 minutes of the game. But I'm a man of my word. We lost the, the eighth game. That now means that I have to uh, discard all of the players. Yeah, he had a big XG, but that was near the end of the game. This goal here is really depressing, but it's part and parcel of it, you know. Can't be too mad. I'm upset that we're losing Bale. Um... But yeah, what can we do, really? Um, and Kane as well, actually. You know, I got a bit lucky with this goal, so I can't really complain too much. It's just, just to show me he went three goals down that, that early. You can see by the possession that he was just holding the ball. But yeah, guys, um, unfortunately, the entire team has to go. Um, which means I'm losing a lot of coins. But who cares, really, right? It's the end of the game. We've had a bit of fun. Um, I'm going to put it into a gold upgrade so it's more... Uh, legit, you know, so here we go then, here we go, oh it's so upsetting isn't it, it's so upsetting but that is part and parcel of the content I'm going to be bringing you moving forward, I think it's a lot more fun, it's a lot more enjoyable and there's obviously a lot more at stake which in my opinion just makes it a lot more enjoyable to watch, now I can't remember all the players exactly so you have to bear with me a minute, oh I can't believe I'm getting rid of all of these as well, okay so they're, they're gone there and then we've got to get rid of, obviously we can't get rid of Modric but Bale goes and um, we've got Sol Campbell that needs to go. I'm pretty sure if you're a Tottenham fan and you're watching this, you're going to be happy about that. And then we've got, if we go to the Premier League, we've got to get rid of Deli Alley, Richarlison, and who is the last player? Honestly, guys, I can't remember. I'll be right back. All right, then, guys, I forgot that the last player was Modric, obviously, that we don't have, but that is the team we're having to get rid of. There's a few tradable players in there, a few players that I really like as well. Ali. Uh, Bale, Son, Kane, uh, Romero as well. Um, and, you know, in terms of players that were quite bad, Richarlison I really didn't like, which was surprising <clears throat> because I really liked his, uh, what was his card? His um, showdown card. But this one I couldn't get on with at all. Ali's really good, of course, and obviously to get rid of this Bale is, is ridiculous. But that is the Tottenham one done, guys. Let me know what one you want next. I was thinking of doing Man United next because I've got a lot of their players. But guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell so you never miss a player review or video like this. And there you go. That's the team gone. Very upsetting. See you in the next video.